Hey y'all, Rev Tommy Two Tone. Rick the Village Till Idiot. We're here with special guests today, my daughter Jen and her boyfriend Kylan. Kylan's from uh, Ohio. As a matter of fact, he's from the part of Ohio up around the area where the Bunktown products come from. But today, we are going to review a product made right here in Alabama, in Fayette, Alabama. Now we're at the Birmingham Botanical Gardens in the Japanese garden section. We thought this was a pretty good place to do a review. It looks good. We know there's going to be some traffic noise. There is a, a pretty major road right behind us, but we're going to try it anyway. I've got us all a clean spoon. We're just going to try them on spoons. Just spoons. Um, I brought an extra spoon. Just in case. Wow, well, I guess just in case. Today, we're going to open it with the Kershaw trimmer. Oh, yeah. Didn't break that one. That's good. Now, I'll put all this stuff in my pocket because we are not going to litter the area. No, we're this not. is Alabama Sunshine Triple X Black Label Red Habanero Hot Sauce in a five mm. ounce bottle. I see some seeds in it. It's got a beautiful consistency. I'll, I'll give you a good view of this. It's Alabama Sunshine. Very nice consistency. I'll read the ingredients off here while we stand getting ready to uh, get everybody's opinion on it. Red habanero peppers, vinegar, water, sugar, salt, xanthan gum. It's got that gum. Got that gum, boy. Garlic, olive oil, alum, turmeric, potassium sorbate, and sodium benzoate as to preserve freshness. All right. I think like some of that might be a little unnecessary to preserve freshness. Um, I'm not saying they... It is or isn't. I just know a lot of hot sauce companies that don't need it. First of all, it's got a dripper, uh, as some people call it. I like to call it a flow reducer, which is if you order them, that's what they're called. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and put some on my spoon. I'm going to go ahead and do a complete uh, teaspoon. I have tried this sauce before. It's very good. I tried it at the festival where I got it. got an immediate habanero flavor. Mm -hmm. You don't taste the vinegar. Mm -hmm. You can tell vinegar. Mm. It's got the upfront slap you in the face habanero heat. <laughs> I got the hiccups. I like it. I like it too. Woo. As a matter of fact, I like the uh, marketing. Alabama sunshine. I mean, we're standing in the Alabama sunshine. Yes. There are some thunder bumpers. Um, Woo. I actually can't tell what's hotter, the sun or that sauce, but it's well, really yeah, we're good. We're all sweating now. <laughs> um, I'll have, have mercy. Say, I'll have to say this. We are standing around some big thunder uh, storm clouds, Woo. but the sun's shining right through them right now. So, you know, we'll probably get back to the car before it rains. It really does hit you right up now. Very upfront with the habanero, very good flavor. Not unlike other red habanero sauces I've had. Uh, it's very fresh tasting. Uh, on heat, I'm gonna give it a four out of ten. Yeah, it's not so hot. You, it's 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 painful. Yeah. It's it's just it's I'm, good. Yeah, you could eat this if you're if you're not a chili head. You could eat a little, uh, mm -hmm. maybe not a lot. You Still gave me the hiccup for your average hot sauce goer, but it's. It's good. It's a full mouth burn. It has a really good flavor. It is making my eyes water a little bit, but it's not, I don't need anything to drink. It's not unbearable. Listen to Jim. It's a full mouth burn. Very professional sounding. Full, However, it's a for, full me, bodied hot sauce. for me, it's just front of the tongue and, and a little bit under the tongue, but not a full mouth burn for uh -huh. me. And I'm, I did swish it around. I'm getting it a lot behind my lip. Like oh, my that's lip. my favorite place to burn. Yeah. Yeah. What do you got? The sun. <laughs> making me sweat. Yeah. Well, you're you're from up north. You're not yeah. used to this heat this early in the year with all the humidity. And the heat. This is one of those deals where the heat right now is 89 degrees. The it's hot. humidity is 88 percent. So yeah, we're sweating. We're we're within one percent of just being totally uh, saturated. I think so. that most of the heat in my mouth has died down, but I got some on the outside of my lips, so it's still. Uh, yeah, I've got still, some okay. uh, caked into the, uh, the old stash here. But I'm not trained up. <laughs> that I'm trying to get rid of. From left to right, let's go flavor. What would you give it on flavor? One to ten. One to ten? I give the flavor a good seven. I like it. Mm -hmm. I like it. It's, it's, for me, I could, I could go a little hotter, but I could use that for an everyday sauce, and I would definitely tell somebody to go out and buy it. It's a good sauce. Because I could use it as an everyday sauce, and because I do like it a lot, I'm gonna give it a. 
I'm going to give it a 7 as well. I think a 7 out of 10 is a good strong 7. That's a good yeah. score. Yeah. What, what do you think? Um, I actually was going to give it a 7 as well. You can well. do that. No um, problem if that's what you think. I, I'm a big fan of habanero flavors. Me too. And um, I think that the heat and the flavor are proportionate to one another. It's not one of the sauces where you're getting more heat than flavor and more flavor than heat. So right. I think it's, it's a really good sauce. What do you think, Colin? Oh, man, I really don't want to be just... <laughs> Same seven. I was gonna. I was between a six and a half and a seven. So I'll, I'll say, it's good solid seven. Okay. All right. Now let me say this: when I do a ten rating scale, which I changed from a five rating, my five rating was really a ten scale because I did it in half increments. Yeah. But now that I do it in ten, I don't. I do whole numbers on it. Okay. So I don't like seven and a half because then it'd be on a twenty scale. Right. Really. Right. Right. So it's on a ten scale. Yeah. And, and seven. Now. But let me say this. It says, not a significant source of carbohydrates, dietary fiber, sugars, fat, cholesterol, and protein. None of that stuff's in there. It's got three calories. The sodium is what impressed me about this sauce. For uh, one tablespoon, no teaspoon, excuse me, is only 20 milligrams of sodium. That's, that's, 15, that's really to, um, 15 to 20 milligrams lower than a lot of hot sauces. So I like that. Here is a question. Being from a, a pepper itself, does it have any nutritional value vitamin wise does it have any vitamin uh, uh, C or A? It has 7% of vitamin C mm -hmm. wow. and and let me say that the, a Ooh. lot of that though may come from the vinegar uh, the acetic acid right uh, but but the, uh, oh, the pepper probably has a small depends on the amount of peppers it has some vitamin D in it but, but not enough to measure obviously uh, so 7% vitamin C oh vitamin A 0% so right. yeah it's just it's really there's not a lot of nutritional value in hot sauce however right. It's healthy because it, there's no danger in it, you know. It's like mustard. Uh, yeah, it's, 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 it's fine for you. Vinegar's good for you. Um, and since it's low in sodium, this is a heart-healthy hot sauce. Alabama Sunshine, flavor to burn, triple X black label. We all gave it a 7. Colin gave it a near 7. <laughs> um, and here's the thing. You can order it at their website and view their other sauces, salsas and things that they have uh, with made with Alabama products at www.alabamasunshine.com. There will be a link below on a road trip review. This has been Rev Tommy Two-Tone. Rick, the village, Julia. Jen. Kylan. We'll see you on the next review. God bless.